Welcome to my channel. I teach the Bible here. I hope you will subscribe to my channel and uh, give me thumbs up, make comments, help me get this out to as many people as you can. I hope you'll uh, uh, hit the bell so you get notified every time I put something out. Every day I'll put out at least two, usually three shorts, under a minute, quick, little quick devotion things. I'll do my daily devotions my Bible reading that I do every day and share it with other people, pray coming in and going out. And I'll do a message of the day. That's what this is, message of the day for Monday, the 30th of January, 2023. And sometimes I'll do other things, sometimes a Bible study, but I try to get the word out. I want this, this is my mission. I want to draw people to Christ with the Bible teaching and I want to help people develop a biblical worldview. I call this message from John 18, verses 1 through 11, and I call it Jesus' identity. And Jesus is being arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane. Now, identity is important to all of us. Uh, for instance, I still have my dog tags from the Army. They gave me my dog tags in, er I went in in May 28th, 1968. Got my dog tags in early June. They stamped the stuff on my dog tags. Thomas David West, January 3rd, 1949, born in Prescott, Arizona. Religious preference, I had to choose Church of Christ. My identity, you know, that's important. Your identity is important. The identity of Jesus was important to Jesus. And his identity is important to us. And our identity is important to us. But Jesus' identity is desperately important to us. And I want, he identifies that as, as he's being arrested in the Garden of Gethsemane in John 18, 1 through 11. Let's read it together. When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side, there was an olive grove, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. And remember, Judas had been one of his disciples. He was one of the 12. He just happened to betray Jesus. So Judas came to the grove guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns, and, lanterns, and weapon, weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said, and Judas, the traitor, was standing there with him, and when Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again, he asked them, who is it you want? And they said, Jesus of Nazareth, I told you, I am he. Now, that I am he is very important. We're going to come back to that. Jesus answered, if you're looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken would be fulfilled. I have, not, I have not lost any of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his, his right ear. Servant's name was Malchus. In other words, this is eyewitness history. That's important. Jesus commanded, Peter, put your sword away. Shall I not drink the cup the Father has given me? Now, I want to go back and I want to notice verse 5 again. He says, I'm Jesus of Nazareth. He, and they, they said, we're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He said, I am he. And he did it again in verse 8. I am he. That's an important phrase. And it's very unusual. He uses it several times in the Gospel of John. And <clears throat> I am, okay, in Greek is the word imi. And the word I is ego. I am the typical usage you'd use in me. If you put ego, I, in front of I am, you're saying I, I am. That's a very, very emphatic way of saying it, an unusual way of saying it. I think it's used eight times in the Gospel of John that way. Well, <clears throat> it's interesting what he's saying, and they knew what he was saying. That's why they fell down backwards, okay? He is referring to Exodus chapter 3, verses 12 through 14, and these dudes would have known that. This is when uh, Moses was making it clear to the Egypt, to the uh, Israelis who sent him to lead them out of Egypt. And God said, 
you know, and he's saying, I don't want to go, man. This is, this is too tough. What am I going to tell the Israelites when I get there? And God said, I will be with you and I will give you, and, and this will be the sign, the sign to you that it, that it is I who have sent you. When you brought the people out of Egypt, you will worship God on this mountain. And they were in front of what ends up being Mount Sinai, okay? Moses said to God, suppose I go to the Israelites and, and say to them, the God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they ask me, what's his name? What shall I say to them? Listen to this. God said to Moses, I am who I am. This is what you are to tell the Israelites. I am sent me to you. Now, that's written in Hebrew, and I'm reading it to you translated into English. There was a very famous translation called the Septuagint. That was the Greek translation of the Hebrew Old Testament. When we get to I am there in uh, the 14th verse of the third chapter of Exodus, the Greek translation of it is that rare translation of I am. It is ego imi, I, I am. Guess what that is? That is the name of God. And so when Jesus says to these guys who are arresting him, they say, we're looking for Jesus of Nazareth. He goes, I am. He's saying, he's using the name of God for himself. He's giving them his identity. He's saying, you know, you are arresting I am. I, I am. You're arresting God is what he's saying to them. And they fall over backwards. You know, you're arresting that guy who showed up on earth, whose mother was a woman, making him man, 100% man, whose father was God, making him 100% God, 200% guy, 100% man, 100% God, both. Never been anybody like Jesus, the 200% guy, 100% man, and 100% God. God showed up on earth. You guys are arresting God, is what he's saying to them which they considered blasphemy. You know why? He's Emmanuel. That means God with us. God showed up with us. That's the identity of Jesus. And that's what he's saying to these guys. So when being arrested in Gethsemane, his identity was important to him. He's saying, you're arresting God. And they fell over backwards. Now they arrested him anyway and took him and tried him a couple times and took him to the cross, nailed him after beating him, you know, whipping him bloody, and then took him to the cross. But it's important, it was important for them to know, and it's important for us to never forget that Jesus' identity when he was going through all this was God with us, and he still is God with us. That's Jesus' identity. Hang on to it and never let go. Talk to you soon.